Yes, and uh, thank you very much for your joining uh, to Japanese class. Uh, I think it should be uh, number eight. And uh, today's Japanese song uh, is called Gomenkyo in Japanese, uh, which, be which means uh, sorry in English. So let's, watch, uh, let's listen to it first. So please uh, let us uh, feel the vibration of the music first.
Yes, uh, thank you very much, Mastari Hokawa, uh, for giving us the new beautiful song about being humble what we of what we have received uh, in younger days. Mm. So how did you that how did you find that song? I think yeah, I, I actually I was a bit surprised to uh, have have this song. Mm, it is about the apology, mm, apology, mm. and this song. Uh, I think you can feel this song is for kids. Mm. So yeah, master gave us the song which we can use to help kids to say, "I'm sorry." Mm. So when you when we grow up, it's hard to say, "I'm sorry," mm. but uh, but uh, if you if we cannot. Uh, say sorry, uh, that might become the tendency of becoming uh, evil spirits. No evil spirits can say uh, sorry. Mm. They can't accept their uh, responsibility of what they have done. Mm. But this song is very honest song to accept the fact uh, we are, mm, how to say, we are allowed to live by people's help. So uh, let, us, uh, let, us, let us know the uh, meaning of lyrics. Mm. And the gomen, gomen yo means uh, sorry. Mm. Gomen means sorry, but it's for, it's for kids. So if you want to say sorry in Japanese to uh, very friendly people, you can say gomen, but you can't say it to your boss. So please uh, be careful. So gomen is for, um, is for kids. Mm. And uh, yeah, he's, and then the song starts with sorry, sorry, sorry for being noisy, and sorry for speaking ill of others, mm. sorry for speaking badly, and sorry for getting in fight getting in a fight and sorry for not listening to what teacher says. Mm, how about your life? Uh, did you listen to people's uh, teacher's uh, opinion? And sorry for being jealous of people. Mm, and sorry for getting in a fight with family or getting anger. I think all of us have that moment. And sorry for disrupt, disturbing my my mom, even though she's struggling. Mm. And sorry for my, sorry for, sorry to Papa too. And sorry for think, so, sorry for not thinking of Papa. Mm. That's so true. How much have you think, how you thought of your Papa? And he's, and also the, the lyrics say, I want to say sorry to other family. Then the rhythm of the song uh, suddenly changed. Uh, it, it becomes more positive. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, everyone. And thank you to our family uh, for, raising, for raising me. And then, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, he or she uh, apologized for this song. Uh, sorry for not being able to greet. Sorry for not still be able to draw pictures. And sorry for still not being able to study. And sorry for still not being able to learn. Mm, sorry. And then uh, he said, but surely sometime soon I will become a kid you can be proud of. Proud of. Mm. So until that time, sorry. But this sorry contains a meaning of thank you. So if Japanese people say sorry, uh, it also means thank you to you. Mm, thank you for uh, giving me something or thank you for uh, getting me um, use, uh, something useful. Mm, sorry is also thank you in Japanese. I will surely make efforts hard, so sorry. I will do my best with praying to God. Sorry, sorry. I'm sure you'll forgive, 
you to forgive it. Mm. So I'm sure people around me forgive and forgive me. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And lastly, uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. This song is so honest and also beautiful to um, of being humble. So let me uh, let me explain the uh, Japanese part. So gomen means sorry. Mm. And urusakushite gomen yo. Warukuchite. Warukuchi itte gomen yo. Warukuchi. Warukuchi means speaking badly. And ten kenka o uh, shichatte. Shikatete uh, gomen yo. Yes. Kenka means a fight. Oh, let's do kenka. That means uh, let's do a fight. But you shouldn't say it. <laughs> but kenka means fight. Mm. And sensei, I think uh, some of you still remember the word sensei. Sensei means teacher. Mm. Sensei no yukoto kikanakute omenyo. Yes. So sensei means teacher. Mm. And uh, mm. It's a bit difficult part, so I will skip it. So, Kazoku de Kenka Ste Okotarista no mo gomen yo. So, Kazoku uh, means family. Mm. So, you can say, Oh, she is my kazoku. Uh, that means uh, she is my family. Mm, you can say it. Yeah. Oh, I, my kazoku live in Mie Prefecture. My kazoku live in Tokyo. Mm, you can say, yeah, kazoku means family. And then uh, this is a bit difficult part. So let's skip it. Um, papa. Yes. And. Uh, mm. Uh, papa no koto nanka kangai nakute uh, gomen yo. Yes, so gomen yo means sorry. Mm. Uh, hoka no kazoku. Yeah, uh, kazoku again. Mm. Uh, sorry, I forgot to. Kazoku. Yeah, kazoku means family. Then, uh, minna, minna, arigato. Yes, minna means everyone. Minna minna means everyone, everyone. Arigato means thank you. I think all of you, all of you uh, know it. Oh, otiku shite kurete arigato. Yes, otiku shite kurete means for thank you for raising me. And aisatsu mo deki nakute. Aisatsu means, uh, aisatsu means greet. Mm. Uh, let us remember more. And, uh, and, uh, mada mada oekaki deki nakute. And, mada mada bencho deki nakute. Mada mada kakeko deki nakute. Yes, we have the three same parts, mada mada. And, mada mada means still. So, I'm on the way, but actually, I'm, I, I don't get it there. I don't get, get there yet. So, mada mada means uh, I'm not enough. Mm. Still. Mm. And oekati means draw pictures. Mm. So, if you want to say, oh, let's draw picture together, you can say, oh, let's do oekati together. Mm. Let's do oekati together. And uh, benkyo means study. Oh, she's, uh, she's doing. Uh, start, if you want to say she's doing study, uh, you can say, oh, she's doing benkyo. Benkyo. Benkyo means study. And uh, katekko. Mm. And uh, uh, katekko means learn. So if you want to say to your, to your kid, oh, let's do katekko. And uh, let's do learning. Mm. Let's do katekko. Let's do benkyo. Let's do uh, oekaki. So yeah, actually it makes sense. Mm. But of course you need to make a Japanese sentence. But I think uh, if you remember the word oekaki benkyo katekko, uh, you can say it uh, in, with, with some Japanese or English uh, uh, 
uh, was to mm, kateko means yeah lan. Let's do kateko. Let's do bencho. Then ah, uh, demo ne itsuka kitto. Mm, demo ne itsuka kitto is actually a uh, uh, yeah this same sentence, but surely sometimes soon ah, uh, jib jiban no kodomo ni nare ah uh, naru kara. Yes, kodomo means kid. So so if you want to say my kid uh, is going to school, so you can say my kodomo is going to school. Mm, my kodomo. So you can say yeah, watashi no kodomo. Mm, watashi no kodomo go go to school. Dakara sono toki made gomen yo. Ah, gomen yo means sorry. Yes. Ankito isho kenmei ni. And doryoku means make efforts. Mm. So let's do kateko, let's do uh, uh, benkyo, and let's do doryoku. Let's do doryoku means let's make efforts. Mm. Doryoku. And kamisama ni inotte wa uh, ganbaru kara. I think some of you might, uh, might, already, might remember the word uh, kamisama. Mm. Kamisama means God. Uh, I think this Kamisama appears in the other lyrics too. Mm, so please uh, recap the uh, another uh, other songs too. And gomen yo, gomen yo. Kitto yurushite kureru kan, kure, kureru ne. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Uh, so shite saigo ni gomen yo. Mm, gomen yo means sorry. Mm. So today, uh, I think this song is so uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful, and uh, I think we can use it for contemplation. Uh, so because yeah, this song is uh, comes from the mas comes from master, and also it also contains a deep teaching uh, about uh, self reflection and gratitude toward our parents. So today uh, we are going to practice the uh, contemplation with this song. Mm. So the first, and there are two kinds of uh, contemplation. Uh, number one is a uh, contemplation on your childhood. So through this uh, contemplation, uh, we are going to we are going to uh, go back to the uh, childhood and to know uh, we have received many love and forgiveness from our parents, our siblings, and also our relatives and the people around us. Mm. So yeah, they have uh, given us so many love, but we won't, uh, we couldn't uh, expect, uh, live up to their expectations sometimes. So we are going to reflect on our lives and, know, and also come to know that we are loved by people around us. Mm. And the second contemplation is a contemplation of gratitude and, and pledge. So because we already given so much things, uh, things from others, that's why we feel, great, uh, we feel grateful of what we have given. Then uh, we are going to pledge us uh, to give back their infinite love to other people as a child of God. So if you, mm, if you look at the first koan, a uh, first uh, contemplation, I just put the old lyrics about apology. Mm, sorry for being noisy, sorry for speaking badly, and sorry to other family, and sorry for not being able to greet, and so on. So you can use it for your contemplation. And a second contemplation about the uh, gratitude and also pledge. So I'm sure you will forgive my shortcomings. Um, I mean, my, um, uh, you will forgive, really forgive me. So that's why I thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. And then uh, you will be uh, making a pledge, new pledge to about your new life. Surely sometime soon, I will become a kid you can be proud of. Proud of. I will surely make, make efforts hard. 
and I will do best with praying to God. So this song is also a, a positive meaning to receive the infinite love from others and also deep, uh, make a pledge to give back their, what we have given to other people as well. So now we are going to uh, contemplate. So uh, I, I hope you can see the say all of uh, all of the contents. It might be, it might be too, okay. So in the first half of the song, I will show you the first one. Then I will give you, uh, I will show you the second one uh, in the second half of the song. So I'm going to play the music so that we can do a uh, contemplation about our childhood. So, uh, so let, us, uh, let us listen and also immerse ourselves in a uh, music, in El Cantare music.
Thank you very much, Master Di Hokawa, uh, for making our mind beautiful and pure uh, with this song, solely. Mm. So I think if you are, if our kids uh, sing this song, uh, they will feel something pure in their heart. And also they can say solely, uh, honestly, uh, when they did something wrong to a uh, teacher, parents, and also other family members. And also they will become, and uh, it's not like uh, uh, letting them feel guilty. Mm, it's actually a process of self-transformation. Mm. So uh, everybody, uh, I mean, we are in part, we are, nobody is perfect. So sometimes we do something wrong with others, but it's hard to accept the fact uh, to hurt somebody uh, sometime uh, as we are living in this world. So this song uh, make us uh, very humble and also we can uh, change ourselves uh, to say, uh, by saying sorry and also thank you. Mm. And uh, thank you very much for your joining. And uh, I will stop the recording and uh, see you next time.